Okay, pet parents, so now we want to talk about FIV or feline immunodeficiency virus. Well, this is going to be strikingly similar to its human counterpart, HIV, or what people commonly refer to as AIDS. Everyone has AIDS. AIDS, AIDS, AIDS. All right, that was really weird. Quick, Biscotti, break the awkwardness by playing the science riff. <laughs> FIV stands for feline immunodeficiency virus, and it is a contagious viral infection that's typically spread through saliva, and it's kind of similar to the FELV virus in the sense that it's what we call a retrovirus. So if you didn't watch my video on FELV, number one, shame on you. Shame. But number two, and most importantly, what a retrovirus is, is it's a virus that can take its own genetic coding and insert it into the host's DNA. So to put it another way, FIV can permanently change a cat's DNA. Here's your second sign to go back and watch the FELV video if you haven't done so. But moving forward, the reason it's so concerning that this virus can change a cat's DNA is because by doing so, it can force a cat to develop a whole bunch of different diseases and conditions, some of which can be fatal all on their own. And if that wasn't scary enough... <laughs> The second concerning thing that FIV does, based on the name immunodeficiency virus, is it suppresses the cat's immune system or prevents it from doing its job, which makes the cat prone to a whole bunch of different secondary infections. There's a handful of different ways FIV does suppress the immune system, but two of the big ones are, number one, it gets into the bone marrow and the thymic tissue, and then it prevents those organs from actually making more white blood cells. And the second way is that the virus will get into a white blood cell, copy itself, kill the white blood cell, and then the virus and the copy go infect other white blood cells, kind of like Agent Smith in the Matrix. There's four distinct phases to an FIV infection, with the first one being what we call the acute phase, which is right after the cat gets infected. Now, some cats will show very vague clinical signs in this phase, while others don't show anything. The second phase is what we call a latent infection, meaning the cat's not showing any clinical signs, and this can last anywhere from a few months to a few years. The third phase is what we call the AIDS-related complex phase. Now, in this phase, the immune system is suppressed, and the cat will start developing secondary infections because the immune system can't fight them off. Now, the clinical signs that a cat will show in this phase are usually related to whatever infection they get. The final phase is what we call the terminal or the AIDS phase. Now, AIDS is an abbreviation that stands for Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. And this is the phase where cats will start developing those fatal issues that we talked about previously. And unfortunately, once a cat enters this phase, they do not survive very long. We have a whole bunch of different tests that we can use to check for FIV, just like we did for FELV. Treatment of FIV is going to be very similar to FELV in the sense that there are some antiviral agents that some people will use with very mixed results. But at the end of the day, the most important thing is going to be for us to treat supportively for any clinical signs or symptoms that an infected cat is showing.